one of Ruber's students wondered whether or not there was any kind of organization in the immediate after-death experiences. Since this is a question that will come into many minds, I will deal with it here. First of all, it should be obvious from what I've said so far that there is no one after-death reality, but that each experience is different. Generally speaking, however, there are dimensions into which these individual experiences will fall. For example, there is an initial stage for those who are still focused strongly in physical reality and for those who need a period of recuperation and rest. On this level, there will be hospitals and rest homes. The patients do not yet realize that there is nothing wrong with them at all. In some cases, the idea of illness is so strong that they have built their earthly years about this psychological center. They project ill conditions upon the new body as they did upon the old one. They are given various kinds of treatment of a psychic nature and told that the condition of that body is being brought about by the nature of their own beliefs. Now, many individuals do not need to pass through this particular period. It goes without saying that the hospitals and training centers are not physical in your terms. They are often, in fact, maintained in mass by guides who carry out the necessary plans. Now, you may call this mass hallucination, if you will. The fact is that to those encountering that reality, the events are quite real. There are also training centers. In these, the nature of reality is explained in accordance with an individual's ability to understand and perceive it. The familiar parables, for some, will still be used at least initially, and then these individuals will be gradually weaned away from them. In these centers, there are certain classes in which instruction is given for the benefit of those who choose to return to the physical environment. They are taught, in other words, the methods that allow them to translate emotion and thought into physical actuality. There is no time lag as there must be in the three-dimensional system between the initiation of such thoughts and their materialization. All of this occurs more or less at one level, though you must understand that I am simplifying the issues here to some extent. For example, some individuals do not undergo any such periods, but because of development and progress during their past lives, they're ready to begin more ambitious programs. Now I have spoken of such development earlier. Some of my readers not being perhaps aware of any psychic ability of their own might think then that they're in for a long and protracted period of after-death training. Let me hasten to tell you that all such ability is not necessarily conscious and that much of it takes place during the sleep state when you are simply not aware of it.